one good view right out our door. We are at Lost Dutchman State Park in Arizona and these are beautiful views. If you guys know, you know. You want me to take some turns? Oh, oh there you go. Nice. There we go. There you go. Ooh, yeah. Even more. Ooh. So you're just gonna be better at this, like everything else? Not better at everything else. <laughs> Especially um, directions. Yep. <laughs> As you guys saw, we got the new Blackstone. It's the one that has the side burner and the griddle. Mm -hmm. And I think it came out the beginning of March-ish. It's a Walmart exclusive. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I'll wait and buy it like when we come closer to this trip. And then it just disappeared. It got sold out everywhere. Yep. It wasn't even like sold out on yeah. the listings. It yeah. was just gone. Yeah. They've got like a new air fryer. They've got all kinds of new stuff. But this thing is awesome because it's 22 pounds. It literally is vertical. And if anybody's ever owned a Blackstone and you traveled with it, you know how hard and how lunky they are. Because we've had them. We've mm -hmm. had them on the channel. We... We've cooked on it in San Diego. We've cooked on it before, mm -hmm. home-wise. And so we're really hoping as two people, we didn't need that big of a griddle, but having a side burner is going to be phenomenal. So we were able to score the campsite, which is great. We wanted to get out. If you guys missed us last week, sorry, we're working with house stuff right now, and it's just taking up a lot of our time. Unfortunately. Yeah, so we just wanted to make sure that, you know, we made this video and we want to put out, you know, good quality stuff for you guys and not just throw it together. But we've been exhausted with doing the flooring in our own house. Yeah. So we are going to cook up Sonoran dogs. And at the current moment, I have no appetite because whatever weed or plant is around here, it smells really bad. It's so bad. And it kind of makes me a little nauseous. So I don't really know how I'm going to feel about eating later. But we are going to cook those up. If you don't know what Sonoran dogs are, they're accustomed here in Arizona and so they're like a hot dog wrapped in bacon with tomatoes pinto beans onions mayonnaise mustard and some kind of jalapeno sauce mm -hmm. which we're omitting because neither one of us can do spice now yeah so we're going to cook those up on the new blackstone and we're going to see how this goes so it comes like in a briefcase style and it's got these like hooks like for coolers but they're rubber so they're so nice so you just slide those up nice and easy it's obviously got a carrying case handle so once you've pulled up those you pull it up look we even have the manual in there just in case and so this is the side burner this is the griddle side and the attachment for the propane goes right here so we have a couple of these extra green ones so we're going to use those up compared that we do have our five pound but we have this here and you're like oh wonder like where is it well it's under here now so what you do is yeah don't tip it over don't fully tip it over but underneath here there is a little push lever so you push and turn it and then it unclips a hook right under here so do you want me to do it i'll hold it while you do it okay so well because you don't want it fully up yeah so you twist and turn it boom and then you pull the griddle off and it has the attachment right under here and it's like secure too so like we all know how we used to slide these under here and put the griddle top back on well now it's done for you and then that way you can just attach this right in here 
with the Blackstone, a lot of people hook up bigger tanks to them too. My understanding is you can, and we'll probably test that later, but we have a whole, we have like what, five of these still? Five Four, or six. Yeah. So we want to use these up and we figured this is the perfect time to use that. So just like any of the other, you know, Blackstones that you have, you'll take this attachment and hook it into your fuel, kind of wiggle that around. And granted, this is our first time doing any of this. So, we're, we, you know, we're learning as we go, too. We haven't even fired this thing up to see if it actually works. So that's going to be the fun part. And then, like anything, make sure that's tight. All right, so that's in there. And that just kind of sits down at an angle like it always has, is my understanding. So that seems to all be in there. So let's see if it fires up. We did a little bit of troubleshooting with the Blackstone trying to ignite it. Um, we checked our igniter pins, we took this lid off, and our igniter pins looked, they weren't undamaged on both sides, they looked really good. So we're assuming it just kind of takes a little bit longer the first time we're trying to start this up. Same thing like we did with our original Blackstone, it took a minute or two and then it finally caught. I'm going to put the griddle pan back on and I want to talk about a little tricky part that we ran into. So this is the hook for you guys that are wondering. This is the little hook that goes in and clamps down. So this is what is locking that in place. Yeah. On the opposite side of that, so this pan goes in this way. On this end, we have these two little hooks. We have to line that up with the two spots down in here or else it's not going to sit right or lock in. So I found the easiest way is kind of to tilt it up a little bit. Once you know where they are, it's easy to come back behind them and kind of slide the pan forward into spot and you'll see them lock in. You can watch kind of down in here and that way it sits flush here and then it, you can lock in during that little part. So I'm going to go back under and turn its direction. One of the directions. I know. There it is. Whatever you guys do, do not twist it off because I did that a couple of times and it falls right off. You can screw it back on. Yeah. yeah. So, and then the back, you guys know with all black stones, we also have a drip pan back here now. So, that's really nice because now it just doesn't hang off. So, you can just pull this out. It's a little sticky. Yeah, it's a it little comes sticky. All the way out. Yeah, but it's a little tray. Mm -hmm. that you can just clean out too and now you don't have anything just hanging off the back and then also has a clip on there too to secure it once you've got it back in place <laughs> it's old trash fairy came no it didn't don't you rip the bag i know i'm waiting for that to happen i really am it still smells good i think what do you think I can never tell, so I trust your nose. I don't know. I hope so. Well, we haven't looks, had it that long. It looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you like them, there's more bacon. I thought we only had two pieces. Okay. but So you're going to wrap your bacon, which we don't have toothpicks, and these are not normal hot dogs. No. So you're going to wrap these in bacon. So our bacon's a little bit on the thick side there, so wrap that up. And then we're going to wrap up the other one and we're going to cook these on the griddle. We're going to cook the beans on the burner. And then we're going to assemble our snoring dogs. And just FYI for everyone, me and Amanda have never had a snoring dog. So we don't even know what it should taste like. And Amanda doesn't like hot dogs. So this is going to even be better. I know. At least we have veggie dogs, but we're wrapping it in bacon. So, you know, it kind of defeats the purpose. Yeah. Chansey wants one. Of course she does. She's watching very intently. I know. Now I need to go wash my hands of all this bacon stuff. Yeah, you do. And we'll get these on the grill. Okay. I mean, cooking with a view like that is awesome. So we are going to get these bacon wrapped veggie dogs crispy. And we're gonna get the pinto beans cooking. So hopefully this all works out really well. This time we did have to use a lighter to ignite it. So hopefully it will just break itself in. We'll see. Not really too sure yet. Also for the Blackstone, they do sell your traditional full griddle that 
doesn't have the side burners, those are still in stock. But if you go to Blackstone's page, they have all kinds of new stuff where they've got this one, they've got the full griddle, they've got an air fryer. I don't know how that works. They've got a new coffee set. Mm -hmm. So. The pan feels really great. Like it was already seasoned and everything. You don't have to worry about anything. And what's nice is it in the van and we'll show it like where we can like insert it. It can sit straight up. It can lay down. It's great because it's a lot more versatile than our other heavy clunky one where you have to like fold over the griddle pan and make it smaller and then fit it in a bag. Then like this is like a carrying case. So far it's been awesome. Other than the igniting that has absolutely been a pain in the butt. I was looking up some history on the Lost Dutchman State Park and I found some really cool stuff. So uh, supposedly there was a mine here that was very prolific in the 1800s and all maps of it and the location of it, people who try to go find it, they have accidents, they can't find this mine. So that's the lost part of it. The Dutchman is there was a gentleman named Jacob Waltz. Jacob Waltz and in 1870, he was supposed to have stolen a chest of gold from this prolific mine, and he hid them somewhere in the Superstition Mountains back there, as the story goes. And he has since died, and no one has been reported to be able to find these chests of gold that he hid. Yeah, it's kind of like Pirates of the Caribbean. It's kind of like <laughs> yeah. One Piece. Everybody's trying to find this treasure. Yeah. Um, there is a lot of backpacking camping here in the superstitions too a ton of hiking a ton of it mm -hmm. there is a lot of mountain lions cougars here also um it is, can be very scary um backpacking through here it's definitely mm -hmm. not something that's on my checklist yeah, but good. it's really cool in this part of phoenix and arizona there's a lot of gold mine towns there's actually one right across from us yeah it's like a tourist attraction where they you can go under and see one of the mines that were there they'll take you through a tour they've got zip lining now mm -hmm. back from when i moved back 10 years ago to phoenix but on this side, there's a lot of gold mining because there's still actually a lot of gold mining in Arizona that people yeah. don't know about. Yeah. And honestly, it'd be really cool to go in there. And honestly, I think this is the greenest I have ever seen it because of all the rain we've got. Yeah. Our weather has been super weird here. Yeah. It's like Florida weather. There's rain out of nowhere. Yeah. And like every afternoon we get rain. Yeah. Typically we have that during our monsoon season here, but that's in like two to three months, not right now. Yeah, and here at the uh, state park, there is a ton of mountain biking trails, hiking trails, horseback trails. There's a lot that you can do in this state park too, and it's great. Chansey in her natural habitat of pure laziness. And if you guys are wondering, we haven't bought her a bed yet. We're trying to figure it out, but she likes to lay in the dirt anyway. So while we're cooking, of course, she is laying there enjoying all the smells and being outside. She's gonna need a bath when we get back. So bad. She needs a bath anyway. Yeah. For the Sonoran dogs, you get these little guys, which I didn't realize I picked up the actual right thing, the Boyoli rolls. So you cut these down the middle. They are definitely chunky. Be careful. Little guys, oh I know. This knife is sharp, but it's also not sharp. Mm -hmm. So cut it like a hot dog where you can put a hot dog in there. This is going to be like a lot of bread. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it is. All right, so got this guy. Pretty sure you're probably supposed to warm it up, I would assume. I don't really know at this point. We're going to go get our bacon wrap dogs. Chancy, move. Move. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So we're going to put our bacon wrapped veggie dogs in there. It just sounds so wrong. It does. We're just going to be weird. It's fine. It's because you don't like hot dogs and we wanted to try these anyway, so. It just worked out. Yeah, it just made sense. So then we're going to try to put some pinto beans in here. 
This is already looking weird to me. Mm -hmm. All right, there's one. Granted, we still have to add onions and tomatoes in these. And mayo and mustard. Yep, but I'm talking about like toppings inside. Topping wise, yeah. Inside of these things. All right, well that one's got that, all right. We got tomatoes we're gonna add too. Gonna put these bad boys on there. I'm gonna do the same thing over here to this guy. <laughs> and leave in the comments if you guys have ever had some Noran dogs. We're probably doing this very wrong, but <laughs> is what it is at this point. And then we're gonna add some onions, of course. The flies apparently like it already. Mm -hmm. I'm more of a chili cheese girl. You guys know this. All right, we're going to add that. And then, of course, the mustard. I mean, mustard makes all the sense. It's going to be the mayo that doesn't make sense. Yep, but that's the weirdest thing to me is the mayo. Yep, so we're just going to throw some mustard on there. These are the biggest hot dogs I've ever ate, I think. <laughs> I don't think it's going to fit in my mouth. That's what she said. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh. Waiting for the mustard to do it. Okay. So after the mayo explosion, we at least got the mayo on the dogs. Yep. Not gonna lie, I'm a little scared. I am too. But how this is gonna turn out. So <laughs> this is bizarre. Cheers to the weird hot dogs that we probably shouldn't be eating, but let's go. I wanna take a chunk of this bread out because I, was gonna I already say, know. It's gonna be all bread. Yeah. I can see why people use these buns, though, because they're just massive. I'm not good at eating hot dogs. I look like eating a brat. I like it. That doesn't surprise me. I don't like hot dogs, but I like veggie dogs. Okay, sounds good. I mean, they're a little weird color. It's a weird color, but it has a lot of acidity in it. I think that's why I like it. Okay. Like the onions and mustard, the tomato. I'm just tasting a lot of the acidity, mm -hmm. which I like. I definitely think we hid the uh, flavor of the veggie dog. Mm -hmm. um, be quite honest, I'm a little indifferent on it. I don't know if I like it or not. I would need to get it again. Maybe not every day. <laughs> oh yeah, no. But once in a while. We I have, do it. We have to go get a real Sonoran dog. We do. It's just going to be spicy with that jalapeno stuff on it. I'm pretty sure we can all get on there. Yeah, probably. I was definitely expecting you to spit it right back out. <laughs> I think at this point... <laughs> so we've been on this journey now for probably about since August. A little over six months now. Mm -hmm. And I think my body's changed so much where it doesn't crave as much meat. But there are some vegan stuff, vegetarian stuff that is... It's not good. Well, like that. Yeah, it's not good. I feel like there's a lot better options out there now. There is, but the few that we've tried that we've been like, whoop, nope. Nope. There's still ones that... That are still very intense. Um, I'm indifferent right now, I'd say. I don't think it's a bad thing. That's a win for you. And we'll go with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're more picky than I am. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But the Blackstone did great. Um, it should be a good cleanup like it was before where we'll just boil some water on it, mm -hmm. clean it up with a paper or towel, make sure we put some olive oil on it. We'll read the instructions since this one's maybe a little bit different. Yeah, we'll have to see. But we'll update you guys on that once we clean it up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to get through this. The mayonnaise isn't bad. I'm surprised. I was expecting that to be really weird. Yeah, it's but it's not. Either. I don't know if it's because of the beans. Uh, I don't know. It somehow just works. Mm -hmm. Give it a try if you've never tried it before. Mm -hmm. You might be surprised. <laughs> Went to go start this thing up again. Had to use a lighter again because the igniter's not working. But once one side's light, I can light the other side. So I just cleaned off the griddle side. Mainly wipe it down, cook some water on it, kind of like you do before. Wipe it down with some soapy towel or... Boop. Um with a soapy towel or a dish or like a um, towel, paper towel, there and then just, yeah, wipe it off. So, so far, I mean, it's been great other than the fact that it's not igniting. Yeah, we're so, going to have to look into that more yeah, later. So we've got the side burner going right now. 
and we're still hungry because you know like i said the veggie dogs were a little we just I, you know i'm okay i'm okay but i'm still kind of hungry so we're gonna do the popcorn which we haven't done in a long time so you know you set this on there and you go dee really fast so we're gonna cook this up relax a little bit take in the views get a fire started because it's starting to get a little chilly and then we will check in with you guys So we've been reading the instructions and it has something to do possibly because our machine is lighting with a lighter. It has something to do with the ignition. Oh, there goes our trash. Yep. Um, with the ignition placement. So we're going to have to look into that once this all cools down. Popcorn time. This is not as good as our home popcorn. No, nothing will be as good as a home popcorn. Nope. But I was just trying to catch fire to some things. It's fine. It's trying to scare me. It's fine. I do this for a living. <laughs> there we go. I don't think that is your job. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. I catch things on fire. Yeah. Got it. Popcorn time. Do we need salt for this? I didn't think we need salt for this last no, time. No, I don't think so. It's really hot. It's not bad. It tastes a little stale. I mean, yeah. I think we've had these for a while. Don't they go bad soon? <laughs> Probably. This is a trip of, I don't know if it's expired or not. <laughs> See if we get sick in the morning. Yep. <laughs> we got a special treat, though, to cook over the campfire tonight. Oh, I'm so excited. Of course. I saw it on social media. I mean, it's good for some things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like this. Yeah. That's how you guys probably found us. Yeah. Well, we're going to eat this and then have a later snack when it gets dark. Hopefully it's good. Because I'll tell you this, I don't like s'mores. I know. You tried your first s'more with me. Yep. And you didn't like nope. it. It's not bad. So we found something that hopefully is better than that. Mm -hmm. I just like eating the marshmallows. Yeah. I like s'mores, but eh. Yep. I just like the marshmallow part. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that, but those are a bunch of coyotes over there in the sunset. Along with some dogs. So those uh, coyotes you heard earlier? Yeah. I uh, decided to come and visit. Yeah, there's two of them so far, but there he is. He's rolling right around there. Yeah. It's probably hard to see. They are everywhere here. And then right over there where all those little lights are, that's what you hear from the Ghost Town Goldville Tourist Place. And then down there is all of downtown Chandler Mesa. Jet boils out. <laughs> I think so. I think it's starting to die. Got it. Alright, need to get a new one. Yep. Probably not. There we go. Oh, just moving me too. Got it. Yep. Here's your phone. Oh, thanks. Yep. Nope. 
So the hack that we saw was you get some marshmallows, obviously, and then you get some fudge stripes, cookies, and then you make a s'more that way. So we're gonna try this. Yeah, the keyblers with the little elf. Yep. Honestly, I don't think this is gonna be any better for me. <laughs> I'm just not a chocolate person. I know you're not. Oh, that got hot really quick. Mm-hmm. All right. I think it's probably because I'm not a sweets person. Yeah, I think I'm so. more of a savory person. Absolutely. I think that makes a big difference. Absolutely. I will eat sweets all day long. And I'll eat hamburgers and hot dogs all day. Well, oh, mostly now it's, you know, what is it, gnocchi and bean burritos, bean burritos with rice. <laughs> I'll do that all day, apparently. Mm -hmm. My biggest kick right now is bean burritos that we make at home. So, like, refried beans with um, Mexican or Spanish rice, mm -hmm. onions, cheese, of course, and then Taco Bell hot sauce. Yep. You know, that's that's been my go-to. Oh, and oatmeal. I really liked the oatmeal the other I know, day. Which is really weird for you. Yep. If obviously you guys haven't known me that long, but pretty much growing up my whole life, I was always a carnivore eating so much meat all the time. My kidneys have decided that they don't like it, which is fine. But I never thought I would say that I don't want to eat meat. I used to crave steaks, ate filet mignons all the time, big mm -hmm. red meat girl. And now I don't crave any of it. So, mm -hmm. all right, let's try this. I think it's ready. Okay. Oh, I think it's ready. All right, all right. two of those together. Oh, that one broke. Oh, you broke it. He broke, they were stuck together. Oh no. Okay, here we go. Let's smash it together. Ooh. All right. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't, I'm scared. It, I think it's gonna pop in my mouth so hot. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's coming out by your hand. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't tip, like it. Tip with eating melted marshmallows. Um, bite it on the side you stabbed, because it's going to come out. <laughs> um, that'd been nice before I put it in my mouth. You told me that. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't see which way it was yeah. going. That's going to that's gonna be a pass for me. That's oh, a that's, no? a lot of, that's a lot of sweet. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tend to the fire. Okay. Ooh, bad idea. Right in the face. Yep. See? It's messy. I think it's better than, it's definitely better than a normal s'more. I'll say that. I like this. Yeah, I knew you would. I mean, I mainly found it just for you. I like this a lot. I knew you would. <laughs> Thank I just want you. It. You're welcome. Definitely give it a try if you like s'mores. You say, I, you say s'more is really weird. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just dumb. S'mores? S'mores. Some mores. Nope. S'mores. I like raw marshmallows and I'm good now. Sounds good. Um, they're really crumbly and they make a mess. Not that graham crackers are much cleaner. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's really good. Good. <laughs> That's a success. I can't fit it. Yep. We are in for the night. The black stone is working. <laughs> the knobs are very fickle. I don't know if we just got a special one. <laughs> or if you're special. Yep. So we're going to try to cook on it again next time we go uh, camping. So hopefully it's all going to work out. Hopefully this is helpful for you guys for the review of that. Hopefully you're interested in it. I think it is great. It's really cool. Yeah. yeah. So until next time, guys, we will see you later.